Nyberg, the archivist here at CIG. I'm one of the hosts of the Loremaker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, if you've never seen Loremaker's Guide to the Galaxy before, it is a show where one of the members of the lore team takes the time to talk about the science and the fun facts and the lore behind each of the systems in the game. And with that, let's get started. So today we're going to go over Hades, uh, which to me is a very archaeologically interesting system. I've seen some chatter recently about ghost stories or scary parts of the game that we, we would like to include, and Hades is a good example of that. Um, it is a system of the dead. Um, it's totally unclaimed. It was accidentally discovered in, oh, when was it discovered? 2515 by the crew of the Mary Crow, which were, you know, not, not exactly an official vessel. They're just, you know, they were doing their thing. They, I'm not going to say they're smugglers, but they were certainly um, independent business people. They kept their discovery of Hades secret for quite a few years until the last, last surviving member of the crew, a navigator by the name of Jake Taps sold the information off to the Dynamo Corporation. And when the Dynamo Corporation came to this galaxy, they discovered a wasteland, an ancient civilization, completely laid to waste, no inhabitants, ruins throughout the entire system. And with that discovery, they were, their hands were legally tied. They weren't able to terraform the system as they may have liked. And the system became unclaimed, but archeologically protected. Now, uh, travelers through the system often swear that it's haunted. Nothing has been definitively proven, of course. Let's go right back here again. Uh, there is one particular ghost that people say that they see. People, Banu, Xi'an, Teverin, perhaps even uh, Vendu, see this thing that is, it's a creature, it, kind of indeterminate. No one's ever gotten too good a look at it. At it doesn't have skin. Uh, blue veins and blue musculature are visible on the surface of the being, and whenever someone tries to get a good look of it, it vanishes. It has obtained cryptid status by this point. It's, it's known by quite a few names, as many cryptids are, such as Hades, Satan, Tobias, that's one of my favorite ones, uh, Thanatos. That's a good one. So here we have Hades, the star of the system right here. It was mistakenly classified as a B-type star by the crew of the Mary Crow, and when the Dynamo Corporation came in with their surveyors, they correctly reclassified it as an F-type star. The habitable zone is a little bit wider than that of our own sun, because it's just, it's kind of like one step up on the stellar sequence. And consequently, three of the planets in the system, Hades 1, 2, and 3, are all inhabitable. Although, they are no longer habitable for reasons I am just about to go into. This is Hades 1. Because it's so close to the sun, it is quite possible that this was a lush sort of tropical planet with oceans and ice caps and uh, savanna and jungle, kind of like a, a balanced climb. Warm, very nice to live in. Not, maybe not very temperate, but definitely a good place you would like to go to grow food. But currently it is a hell, it's like, it's a hellscape. It's crater blasted. There's, there's evidence of great weapons being discharged. Uh, there's, you know, the, the ruins that used to exist here don't even really exist anymore except for impressions in the, the earth of the planet where the ruins may have once stood. Now, we're not exactly sure what happened to Hades 1. We're not exactly sure what happened to any planets in the system. But evidence points to a big war that happened between, between the three planets. And it's possible that they were all settled by three different species. It's possible that the one species in the system in inhabited all the planets and they went broke into like various factions and went to war with each other. I will say there is evidence of only one sentient species found so far, but there's still quite a lot to discover. This is Hades 2. It is a very geologically active planet. There are volcanoes all over it that are erupting quite often. 
spewing ash all over the planet. And consequently, much of the ruins that are on this planet are sealed underneath a big barrier of ash, sort of like Pompeii. There have been many, many different surveys on this planet to try to get, both get into the ruins and to survey them without damaging the integrity of the, the ruins, you know, just for posterity's sake. But because of the incredibly harsh environment, it's swirling storms all over the planet, constantly blowing winds, lightning strikes, tornadoes, you know, what have you. It's very, very difficult to conduct a stately and slow and correct archaeological survey. And mining is also prohibited, just in case anyone was interested. Now, unlike Hades 2, Hades 3 is a very still planet. There's no weather, there's no wind. Well, at least no wind on the surface. Of course, there's jet streams up in the, the high atmosphere. There's very little atmosphere left, though. Um, and it's completely toxic to humans. Because of that, there is nothing living on the surface. There's evidence that there may have been organic life at some point. But it is absolutely no longer there. So it's, uh, it's pretty rough there. Most of what we know about the Hadesians originates from this planet because of the mostly intact nature of the ruins, probably preserved because the weather on the planet is next to nothing. What we know about this species is that they were roundish, they were a little bit bigger than humans, they had very long arms and uh, weird tentacle appendages that varied from statue to statue, so it's not known whether they were actual appendages, whether they had a decorative purpose, whether it was ceremonial. It's hard to say. Very few records of this civilization have ever been found. Because the atmosphere is so toxic, it's difficult for all the, but, but the most well-funded teams to gain access here. And a well-funded team would be very interested in go figuring out what's going on here because Hades 4, which is known as the Broken Planet, is cracked in half, oops, is cra was cracked in half by some kind of force. Because of the state of the system, it's speculated that this is a planet-killing weapon that was most likely partially responsible for the horrific war that may have taken place in the system. And so various weapons corporations are very interested in hiring well-funded outfits to try to get in and see what the tech is and whether they can replicate it and sell it themselves. It is illegal to do this, but that doesn't necessarily stop some corporations from trying. And that is the Haiti system, one of the spookiest systems in the entire known universe. Not a UEE system, unclaimed. Shipping routes come through here sometimes, but no one really likes to stay for very long. Thank you for tuning in this week, and I hope you enjoyed this tour of Hades. Ooh.